wonderful show. We hope you guys enjoy it, but we also want to give Katie a few moments to thank you himself, but also to explain a little bit about the work if you haven't already seen it. Um, so please take the show. Yes. Um, okay, so number one, thank you everybody for showing up. It means a lot. Um, like, just having something, having everybody show up like this for Bakersfield is phenomenal. Um, we kind of get the, like everybody says that like, we're not very artistic or whatever, like I hear it all the time in the artistic community, like we have so many hidden gems here and just for you coming out here supporting this is massive. So I want to thank everybody here for doing that. Uh, Jasmine, thank you for hosting. It's and Berkeley, <laughs> number one, I have to thank Berkeley. <laughs> there would not be a show without Berkeley because he composed everything to make it look the way it does. Like I made the pieces, but he made them talk to each other. So uh, thank you, Berkeley. Um, but yeah, thank you, and uh, I hope you enjoy the work. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Once the gallery starts to come to a close, uh, we will be sending out personal invites to those of you that purchase art this evening, and as well as to some family and friends um, to host a one-on-one -on -one with Kenny to kind of talk about his evolution through the years. Some of us have had his artwork since we were very young. Um, some of us are just now getting to see his work as it is now, but his progression from the artist he was just a few short years ago to today has been massive, and it's an immaculate just turnover from, from the and guy development I met, over the last right? few months even um is... so keep an ear out for that and you might get to hear a little bit from kenny who doesn't like to talk about himself <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i try to make the work talk for me so you know like specific pieces that you want to talk about i can let you know but Everybody asks me, what's my favorite piece? And it's hard to choose, because when you start making them, you have a certain idea of what you want it to be, and what you're thinking about when you're making it, and um, I usually describe it as the, the pieces that I learn the most are the, my favorites, like Medusa. I learned a lot from Medusa. Um, just color values, uh, what my teacher, uh, Mr. Sherwin, would say, the dance. So that texture of making colors blend to each other and how they become contagious to each other and just like the rhythm of the paintbrush. So that, this one had some like impressionistic feeling to it, different color, like the flow of everything. I like this one, uh, but you know, it's hard to say what is my favorite, you know? And then, yeah, I did kind of put my face a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone was asking, yeah. yeah. So, like, you know, when you have a model, like, you can't, you, you don't have a model when you're just like, okay, we'll take a picture and, like, kind of make it. And it ends up being kind of you. So, um, but yeah, like, that's, that's all I would have to say. And just let the work talk for itself. Yeah. Well, please continue to enjoy the show. Yes. That's all. <laughs>